Hey guys, Michelle here from Michelle Creations, and today we're going to do a quick tutorial on a baby's pacifier holder. Um, I picked these um, sublimation blanks on Amazon, and I wanted to give them a try. I don't really have a lot of baby items in my shop, so I wanted to see how they would go. Um, my friend recently had a baby, and her theme is safari theme, and I found this um, design from uh, Creative Fabrica, so I'll put the link down below. Um, it's little elephants with safari trucks. I just thought it was so cute. So I created the pattern. Um, so we're gonna see what happens when we sublimate it. So let's get over to the heat press. All right, so we're over here at the heat press. I have the heat press set at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. When I did pick these up, I did read some reviews that some people were saying how the string here should not be applied to heat. So I'm trying to see how we're going to make it all work. I don't know if we're gonna be successful at this, but we're gonna try. So the first thing that, um, which we should have done first, but first thing we're gonna do is um, cut up the image to fit. So um, obviously we don't need this whole sheet for um, one side. So we're going to save that for the other side so we can have a um, full wrap. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down. So we have slightly of an overhang. And so that way we can use the other side, the other image for the other side. So, Looking at this, I feel in my heart um, that we are going to do, okay, so we obviously want this image up here. What do we look like here? We have red and, okay. So let's just meet in the middle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply the heat tape to the back side. To make sure that it stays down. I'm going to then realize that we have too much here, so I'm just going to cut this portion off. We obviously do not need all that, and why waste it? Then we are going to get a butcher paper. We're going to put that down because we do have ink on this side and we do want to protect our, um, what are these things called? They're cushions, they're heat cushions, I think. Um, we are going to see that here is where the edge is. So we're going to put that as far off the heat platen as we can. So I am hoping this is going to work. Okay. So again, we have the image face up for the heat. We are then gonna use another butcher paper to apply it. Now, the reason why I have the mat here is so that the metal piece isn't going into the bottom um, as well as it gives it some cushion. The other thing that we're probably gonna have to do is change the pressure because I typically do t-shirts and onesies and so the pressure is for a very thin garment. And since this has a metal piece in it, and I don't want it to be crushed, we're going to reduce the pressure. And you basically do this by turning it to the left. And I want to think maybe right here. Uh, why not? Oh, no, because we want to have pressure onto the actual item. All right, so this will be interesting. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a gamble and press it for 60 seconds and see what happens. So, cross your fingers, guys. So, as we get closer to the time being up, I go ahead and get my heat gloves on because we definitely want to make sure that we are protected. And let's see what we have. So, as you see, it went indentation into that. But let's see what damage we have underneath. Okay. So this little doohickey thing is still on and look how cute that came out. That 
is simply adorable. All right, so while this cools off slightly, we're gonna go ahead and do the same exact step to the other side. So we are going to again get another piece of butcher paper and take these gloves off for a moment. And we are also gonna get the other half of our sheet. While we're looking at it, we can kind of trim down the bottom half. All right. And then we wanna have the same concept. So we had the red, the green, and the red. So we have again, the red, the green, and the red. So I'm gonna go and shave it right where the green is, just so that we have some cushion in case I do shift it over. And then we can use this for another project. All right, so is this still hot? Slightly, okay. So while we're doing it in this direction, we are going to take this and do the same concept. I think I need to put down more heat tape. And we are going to do the heat tape on this side like we did the first time which I think worked to our benefit. If I can get this open. So I used about four pieces on the last one, so let's just cut two more, because I only had enough for the other one. And so now we're gonna do the same step. So we are going to, I'll see if we can, that was smart. We're gonna take this side, and the metal pieces are still hot. And we are going to basically line it up. So I'm gonna pull this up a little bit more. Now, it's not really a wraparound, so I'm not worried about the seams, um, but I do wanna at least have the same color concepts that we had on the other side. So I went ahead and did the same medium, and we're just gonna tape it down Again, try to only tape it to the image because if you tape it to the butcher tape, butcher paper, then we gotta lift it. Which I think I just did what I said not to do. Okay, one more. And again, I have the image going in the same direction. So we're gonna do the same exact thing we did before. We're gonna bring the, um, I think it's a heating pad. I, I honestly have to figure out what the name is called. And we're going to have the butcher paper up to it, and then we are going to turn this this way because we want to save the string. And we are going to bring the string as far off the heat pattern as we can. And I feel like some stuff moved, but we're going to just hang it. Again, you want to protect your... Um, item your substrate with another piece of butcher paper so that the ink does not go on the top and here we go again another 60 seconds we're gonna press and see what happens so once again we're down to a few seconds i put on my heat gloves for my finger protection like skin protection and we are going to see if we were the same successfulness as before because then you don't need that. And it seems we were. So I'm going to let this um, bring this over to the tabletop. And then we can take a closer look. So we are back at the table and the item has dried off. And you basically can see how cute the image has transferred. Um, and again, on the back, you do see there's a little bit of the ghosting, but it's very hard to do that when you have um, a piece like that, unless you're going to break it up the same down here. So you could have did one piece here and then cut another piece to avoid um, that ghosting or um, discoloration of the colors. But other than that, I think for my first one, I think that came out super cute. Um, would love to know what you think. Is this something you might want to try? Um, please let me know. Uh, if you like the mess, if 
if you liked the message. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button so you can be notified for more content. And again, thank you again for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Have a great, fantastic day. Take care.